Welcome to Physiological Psychology. Today we're going to talk about the lobes of the brain and I'm going to use the board and kind of sketch out the lobes of the brain and then show you another way to kind of help you to remember it. So for the lobes of the brain what I'm talking about is the cortex, is the outer layers of the brain and um, the cortex first of all is divided into two halves. We call those two halves the two hemispheres. The two halves are the two hemispheres of the brain. And when we look at that cortex or the two hemispheres, we can divide those hemispheres into these cortex lobes. So what we're looking at here on the board is the left-hand side of the brain. So we're looking at the outside, kind of, if we could kind of take a peek underneath the skin, we'd be looking underneath the skull at the outside of the brain. And uh, you can see that there's kind of the frontal part here where your forehead is, and then there's the back part where the back of your head is, and then there's kind of the thumb-like projection that we're going to talk about. Let's divide these into the lobes and kind of talk about what their names are, and I'll um, draw those on the board too so you can see them. The front one is pretty easy to figure out because that front part of the cortex on each side is called the frontal lobe. So the frontal lobe is pretty easy to remember because it has a reasonable name. Front, frontal lobe, that part of the cortex. Now the back part of the cortex is called the occipital lobe. The occipital lobe right back here is that part that's really involved in visual processes. So if you have an accident or you fall down and you hit your head hard enough right there in the back, you're probably going to have some kind of visual sensation. In the cartoons, they kind of make fun of it and um, show kind of birds twer uh, twerping around your head. Um, so they're just really talking about this having a visual sensation and, and playing games with that. Uh, the thumb-like projection that comes in um, the side part is actually called the temporal lobe. And the temporal lobe is right here around where the temple, tem uh, where your um, temple is. So it kind of makes sense that it's called the temporal lobe. The last one is a, a little bit harder to remember the name of because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But I guess the occipital is kind of hard too. But this one's called the parietal lobe. And the parietal lobe is going to be involved in things like um, body sensations coming in, so warmth to your skin, um, touch sensation is going to come into the parietal lobe, mainly to about the front part of the parietal lobe, that'll be the sensory strip. So any kind of body sensations that you get are going to go into the front part of the parietal lobe. Um, so, so far we have then some functions for a couple of these lobes, but I want to expand on that a little bit. With the occipital lobe, then we have primarily vision stuff, and it really is set aside mostly for vision. Um, some of the other lobes will have uh, several different functions. The occipital lobe is the only one that's kind of purely set aside for one thing, for the most part. And then the temporal lobe down here where this thumb-like projection is, the temporal lobe is going to be involved in a couple things, but just to give you one thing to think about, um, the temporal lobe is going to be involved in audition or hearing. So hearing is found kind of near the top part of the temporal lobe. So audition or hearing is going to end up here so that you can recognize what it is you're hearing. Some of those higher level processes. Um, parietal lobe, we've already talked about body sensations coming in the front part of the parietal lobe. And the frontal lobe is kind of like, it's like the best part of us because the frontal lobe is our higher level mental processing. Things like um, being able to plan a grocery list or being able to think ahead in a game of chess. That's going to be even the front part of the frontal lobe, what we actually call the prefrontal cortex. The very front part of the frontal lobe is our kind of our best part of being human. And in fact, pretty much overall, this is the way the brain is organized. It's organized that if you go up from the brain stem, from the spinal cord to the brain stem, you get higher levels of processing with the brain stem for heart rate, blood pressure, things that are basic to life, life function, breathing. And then as you move further up and outward into the cortex, you get higher levels of processing. And then as you move forward in the cortex, across the cortex, you get even higher levels of processing. So you get to this part I was talking about a minute ago, the prefrontal cortex, for the best part of being human, planning ahead, really being able to do things like um, logic issues, um, very high level prefrontal cortex stuff. So this is a little overview of how you can look at the brain and the cortex and, um, and get a feel for that it's separated primarily into four different lobes. Um, some people talk about five lobes, but for this class we're just going to talk about the four main ones. Um, if you ever get on a test and you get kind of stumped and you think, okay, I don't remember how to kind of think about the brain, 
you can actually, it's kind of silly, but you can kind of make a brain for yourself with your hand. So you can do like this. If you just make a fist, you've actually just created the same kind of diagram for a brain, and you can kind of think about what, where the different lobes would be located. And um, so you can see that the, this part of the, the hand would be the prefrontal cortex and the frontal lobe, then the parietal lobe, then the occipital lobe would be kind of in the back, and then the thumb, of course, is going to represent the temporal lobe. So hopefully that will kind of help you to be able to have some kinesthetic feedback or feedback from your body where you're doing things to kind of help remember the stuff in this class. So hope this helped, and um, we'll have a test later on. Thanks.